Let's say you're a Hollywood screenwriter and you need some kind of impending apocalyptic disaster to provide the drama in your next movie. Why not an incoming space rock? After all, it's a tried and true plot device. In Deep Impact, it was a comet bearing down on Earth. In Armageddon, it was an asteroid. What's the difference? Well, Armageddon had that melodramatic Aerosmith song. What? Oh, oh right. What's the difference between asteroids and comets? Well, both are made from scraps left over from when a planet forms, but there is indeed a difference. It's right there in the name. The word asteroid comes from the Greek for star-like. That's because asteroids are just little points of light in the sky, like very faint stars. Comet comes from a Greek word meaning long-haired. Comets are icy, and when they get close to the sun, the ice heats up and turns to a dusty vapor. The gas and dust form a tail and a miniature atmosphere called a coma. And this makes the comet look sort of hazy or hairy. Comets are icy because they come from the cold outer reaches of the solar system, from the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is especially far out. If the sun were marble an inch across, the inner part of the Oort cloud would be about two to five miles away. Asteroids reside much closer to the sun, primarily in a belt between Mars and Jupiter. At that distance, any ice would have vaporized long ago. That's why asteroids lack the tail and the coma of a comet. But the story is a bit more complicated. In 1996, astronomers discovered a new kind of object inside the asteroid belt. It has all the properties of an asteroid, but also a tail. These objects are called main belt comets. One theory is that their asteroids were something is punched through the surface and freed the ice trapped inside. Comets can masquerade as asteroids, too. Comets can become dormant or extinct, meaning that they stop giving off gas and dust. In other words, the line between comets and asteroids is getting, well, fuzzy. So if you're a Hollywood screenwriter, take your pick. Either one, bearing down on Earth, packs plenty of drama. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm John Matson.